Like All right, and then one one that was pretty cute. Everybody loves a baby picture, mm -hmm. and this was one that really a lot of people had emotions about this baby picture this year. This is oh. the Romney family, yeah. right? Um, and if and of course they're on um, um, uh, Governor Romney's knee is mm -hmm. his adopted grandson, mm -hmm. who is an African American adopted African American child, Kieran Romney, and he captions for this one. One of these things <laughs> is not. <laughs> Does he yeah. do the same? And that little baby front and center would be uh, the one. And yeah. isn't he the most gorgeous? My my goal is that in 2040, the biggest thing of the year will be the wedding between Kieran Romney and Northwest. Uh -oh. Can you imagine <laughs> Mitt Romney great. and Kanye West oh as in law? I, I think this picture famous. is great. It's it really sums up the diversity of the Republican Party. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> every, every RNC. Every RNC. Right. Right. They have the convention. Yeah. And one they find the one black. No. Person. We, st we still have so much to get to, including the annual look back in laughter tradition. Good morning. I'm Melissa Harris-Perry. We have a lot of news and politics to discuss this morning. But before we get to that, I am going to start with an apology. Last Sunday, we invited a panel of comedians for a year in review program. It's what we call our look back in laughter. But in one of the segments, we looked at a number of photos that caught our attention over the course of the year. And in that segment, I asked my guests to provide kind of off the cuff ideas for captions of the photos that we were seeing. Among the images we aired was one of the Romney family that showed Governor Mitt Romney's grandchildren, including his adopted grandson, who is African American. Now, given my own family history, I'd identified with that picture, and I intended to say positive and celebratory things about it. But whatever the intent was, the reality is that the segment proceeded in a way that was offensive, and showing the photo in that context of that segment was poor judgment. So without reservation or qualification, I apologize to the Romney family. Adults who enter into public life implicitly consent to having less privacy, but their families, and especially their children, should not be treated callously or thoughtlessly. My intention was not malicious, but I broke the ground rule that families are off limits, and for that I am sorry. Also. Allow me to apologize to other families formed through transracial adoption because I am deeply sorry that we suggested that interracial families are in any way funny or deserving of ridicule. On this program, we are dedicated to advocating for a wide diversity of families. It is one of our core principles, and I am reminded that when we are doing so, it must always be with the utmost respect and genuinely appreciative of everyone who offered serious criticisms of last Sunday's program. And I am reminded that our fiercest critics can sometimes be our best teachers.